Hi, I'm Dr. Axe. Recently, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. announced plans to remove fluoride from our drinking water if elected, sparking widespread controversy. Is fluoride really safe or are there hidden health risks that we need to address? Well, let's break it down. Before I do, though, make sure to subscribe so you can get more great content just like this. Now, fluoride was first added to the public drinking water in the United States in the 1940s. The goal? To reduce cavities and improve public dental health. It's been promoted as a cost-effective way to prevent tooth decay, particularly in children. Now, today, about 73% of Americans have fluoridated water. A 2019 study published in JAMA Pediatrics raised concerns about fluoride's impact on developing brains. It found a correlation between higher fluoride exposure during pregnancy and lower IQ scores in children. Another 2020 study published in Environmental Health highlighted potential neurotoxic effects, especially in young children. However, proponents argue that fluoride significantly reduces cavities, and the CDC claims that water fluoridation reduces tooth decay by about 25% in children and adults. However, it's pretty interesting that several countries have banned or discontinued water fluoridation, citing health concerns concerns and ethical issues, including Germany and Sweden, who stopped fluoridation decades ago, stating there were safer, more effective ways to improve dental health. And the Netherlands banned fluoride all the way back in 1976 after public out outcry and going through the scientific research. Now, Japan and France rely on education and better access to dental care rather than fluoridation as well. And I want to point out that Japan, their health is far, far greater and superior than that in the United States. And every country here mentioned has better health than the United States today when we're talking about longevity. Now, here are the potential risks of fluoride. Number one is bone health. High fluoride levels can lead to skeletal fluorosis, a condition that actually weakens your bones and joints. Also decreased thyroid function. Some studies suggest that fluoride may lower thyroid activity, potentially contributing to hypothyroidism. And I can tell you as a functional medicine practitioner, hypothyroid is one of the top growing conditions over the last 20 years and fluoride might be contributing and making it worse. Brain development, as mentioned earlier, recent research links fluoride exposure to neurodevelopment risks in children and then ethical concerns. Critics argue that mass fluoridation is a form of forced medication without informed consent and I agree with that myself. I don't want fluoridation in my water. I don't want it in my kids' water. If we want it, we could just have it in our toothpaste. We don't want it in the water supply. By the way, I don't recommend it in high doses in toothpaste uh, either. I recommend doing a toothpaste that is full of minerals and clay and coconut oil and things that are more natural. Now, if you're concerned about fluoride, here are a few steps you can take. Number one, use a high quality water filter designed to remove fluoride. Number two, choose fluoride-free toothpaste and dental care products. Number three, focus on nutrition for natural dental health, such as getting more magnesium and calcium-rich foods in your diet, spending more time in the sunshine so you get more vitamin D. These have all been proven in medical studies to improve your dental health and prevent cavities. Now, here's the reality. Fluoride has been a staple in public health policy for decades, but like any health intervention, it deserves regular scrutiny. As more research emerges, it's essential to weigh the benefits against the risks. And I applaud Robert F. Kennedy Jr. for going and digging through the research more than almost anyone else and looking at the truth. Is fluoride good or bad for us? Well, number one, he believes, and I believe, it shouldn't be in our water supply and it should be removed immediately. Hey, so let's stay informed and ask tough questions and make the decisions for our family together. Hey, make sure to not miss out on more great content like this as part of my podcast, The Dr. Josh Axe Show. Make sure to subscribe and please share this. More people need to know the truth about fluoride. Thanks for listening.